Entertainment, and today we have XAV, XAV Productions, in the building. Yeah. yeah. Man, what's poppin' with you, bro? How you doing? Man, I'm solid. I'm groovy, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so, you make beats, right? Yes, sir. What, what else do you do? I make beats, graphic design, uh, direct videos, uh, clothing brands. Right, right. I kind of try to... Uh, you know, dab a little bit in, in everything. Anything that has to do with creating, right. I try to, you know, put my foot in it. Dope, dope. Yeah. How long you been making beats for? Since I was 13 years old, I'm 26, about to turn 27. Okay. Yeah. What, what, how'd, you, how'd you get into making beats? How did that come along? So I had a cutty, uh, my, my close cousin, uh, he an artist too, Hiro FBB. And he, uh, when we were youngins, uh, I was always into the technology and shit. And, uh, he came, he came to my house one day and said, uh, he just threw a little CD at me. Right. Said, here, Cuddy, I feel like you're going to be dope at this. I look at it. It, was, it says FL Studio. Right. I'm looking at it like, man, I don't even know what to expect. Right. I pop that bad boy in, and I'm just like, man, I install it and everything. And bro, I just went straight to work. Right, right. It was trash. It was right, garbage. Right. It was, but right. I fell in love. Right. I was like, man, just the fact that I can do patterns however right. I want. Right. I can make these noises and right. however I want. Right. It was, it was a love at first sight. That's always man. That's dope. So FL is Fruity Loops, right? FL is Fruity Loops. Yeah. Um, what what program do you use now? Uh, I use Reason. Reason. Yeah. Reason. Oh, okay. Uh, what's so unique about that program that, that you like? Why you like using it? Uh, what I find unique about Reason is uh, it it's it's user friendly. As like you know, like Fruity Loops, um, but it's 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 mapped out different um, because I was, I was fucking with Fruity Loops so long. Right. I was uh, fucking with, with. I started on FL five. Right. Graduated to six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'm like, man, I want to challenge myself to something else. Now the main plan wasn't to just go to Reason and, and stick with Reason. Right, it was just right. like, let me learn something else. Right. Just in case I go to another studio right, right. and that's all they have. Right. Right. And. Uh, so I got a reason five, and uh, I don't know the layout of it. Is something just caught my attention. It's right. just, it's not that it's easier. Right. It's just it's different. Yeah, it's different. Okay, it's different, and 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 just the the way I could, uh, uh man, it's hard to explain. It's almost it's almost like Fruity Loops. Right, right, right. Just a different layout. Like a cousin. That's the cutting. Okay, yeah. <laughs> That's cut. So I'm I'm assuming you always had like a good ear for music and. You know what I mean? Instruments and stuff like that. Most that. Most so, what kind of music did you listen to coming up? Man, coming up, as far as I could think back, uh, just being from a little, you feel me, little youngin, five year old, six year old. My pops always played uh, Spanish shit, right, right, right. The, the, the most bookies, yeah. the, all that <laughs> romantic shit, uh, and just growing up on that Spanish music, you know, kind of gave me the rhythm. And then, you know, seven years old. I mean, I got introduced to Michael Jackson, right. the GOAT, you right, feel right. me? Try dancing like him and everything. Uh, then uh, then I, I'm over here, you know, I found my dad's uh, CD album with the plastic flaps, you feel me? Right. Just filled hundreds of CDs. Right. And I see that my pops has Tupac, All Eyes On Me, Too Short, uh, everything, bro, everything. Uh, All these. Bro, everything. That's Throwbacks. And then uh, even, bro, Will Smith, right, right. I thought he was the go-to. Come on, that big Willie style. Yeah, 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 that was fire, bro. Come on, it was, it was. Uh, so I just grew up on that, and then uh, a mixture of that, then then my always riding around with my cousins, older cousins, right, right. OGs now. At the time, you know, they're they're in their young twenties, and I was barely like eleven years old type shit. And then uh, they put me on a Mac Dre. Right. They put me on a Jack. Right, they right. put me on a. To, to, to Mr. Fab, to the, all the hype movement. Right, right, right. I was a youngin' in the hype right, movement. Right, right, right. But man, I, whoo. It was lit. It was, it was lit. lit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, what do you like most about those beats when they were using that and then, and like, you know how the hype music, like what stood out to you the most? I feel like what stood out to me most, in, in the hype era, uh, what stood out to me the most was most definitely the, the sound waves, just that, that. Bah, right, right. Bah, bah, bah. I can't even explain the slap, it. The slap, slap, the slap. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, it was kind of like they were breaking the rules. Right, right. You know, it wasn't like normal hip hop. It yeah. was definitely something uh, very uh, 
Embiotic of the right. era. I can't even they explain got it. That base, yeah. It just had that base, yeah. nonstop base. It had that clap. It right, just, right. Do you feel like Too Short played a big part in that and, and, and creating that type of vibe? Because he always, I remember him speaking on like he always liked that. He always got to have a base. 808 just going yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. More, more for me, it was more Mac Dre. Right. On top of everything. Right. Uh, Mac Dre, the way he, he, the beats he chose. Right. The, the vocal tone that he chose to speak in, right. he didn't give a fuck. Right. And that shit made me What's inspired. your favorite Mac Dre song? Man, it, it switches up. I think right now is that, uh, it's called like, be about your dough. Yeah. You be about your dough. If you hey. wanna fuck, yeah, that, that, that's like, be about your dough. Yeah, that's going go crazy, crazy all bro. Time. That's my favorite right now. What about your favorite switch- jacket song? Uh, man. For a while, it was definitely that, uh, the one with, with Jay Stalin, Never Blink. Right. And then, uh, it switches up too. Never Blink is hard. And then that one he got with LaRue, uh, who's now here to Slim. Right. I think that's his name now. Put me on. Uh, the, the, and Jay Stalin's in it too on the remake. Yeah. Dun. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, high school, Mac. That's all I know. Yeah. 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 Bro, hard, bro. Uh, man, it's it's a lot of that. And then I just recently saw you guys' interview with Ryder J. Clyde, mm-hmm. and he spoke on a song that he said y'all probably never heard of it, but it's called "Summer Nights in the P." Right. And you feel me? I, I fuck with Rob Lowe a lot. Right. Legend, producer. Right. Uh, and he dropped a, a little tape called Dat Tapes that had all his old shit that he recorded on Dat Tapes, which is a special way of recording mm-hmm. prior to the computers and all that. Right, right. And, and the Summer Nights in the P is on there. Y'all should yeah. go check that out. Summer Nights in the P, bro. Keep the Jack's name alive. Andre. Right. Slap. Right. Summer Nights in the P. Mm-hmm. If you don't drink, I was aging. Hennessy, that's hey. crazy, bro. So who who would be your five favorite producers of all time? Five dead or alive? Uh, five top producers. Uh, I would have to say. Sheesh, I'm bored. Uh, they're probably not gonna be in top five order, but I'll give you five all right, for sure. So. Uh, man, Rob Lowe, hard. Uh, and this is gonna go everywhere right go now. It's about Gomani. Rob Lowe, hard. Uh, early Kanye to 2009, 808s and Heartbreak Kanye, even up to that St. Pablo shit, hard. Uh, what else? Uh, Dr. Dre, of course, hard. Chronic was crazy. 2001 was crazy. Slab. Slab. Oh, Scott Storch. Scott Storch, Scott Storch had a big play in 2001. Right. Hey, did you know Scott Storch? He had torch. What? <laughs> Scott Storch got torch. <laughs> like he caught on fire. Yeah. Oh that's man, that's bro. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a fun bro. You know? Yeah. He's hard though. That's that's what four right there that you named. That's four. Yeah. Uh, man. Fifth, I can't think of a fifth. I'm gonna go home later. Like, man, I should have said this. Yeah, in my it's fifth. cool, but the people, they, you know what I mean? They feel you. That, yeah, that, yeah. Diverse of different people. Yeah. So, what artist? Who artists? What artists are you working with right now? You know that you enjoy working with, or who? Who could you name a few off the rip? That who you who you working with? Yeah, most of. Uh, right now, I'm working with uh, out of Vacaville, Lil Raider. Yeah, Lil Raider. Uh, I got some hits with him coming this year. Fire. Yeah. Uh, Desus Neros out of Sacramento. I got one with him. Super cool cast to just make slaps with. Uh, and then, bro, everyone else is like my family, bro. You know, like everyone, like my Cuddy Harold FBB, right. up and coming. Right. He's the one who got me to make music, so I kind of, I feel like, you feel me, we a team. Right. Uh, also, Cali out of here at Oakley. Uh, fuck with him. Shit. Larry OG, Rosal 97. Bro, just. My team, basically, right, right. which doesn't necessarily mean I only fuck with my team. Yeah, yeah. I fuck with anyone, 
that has the passion Come and on. has that drive. Right. You feel me? Everyone. It don't matter if, if they from here or they from there or they bang this or they bang that. Right. I don't care, bro. Right, right. I work with everyone and anyone, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, as long as they have that drive right. and that passion, right. that's what matters to me because right. that, that, that way we can connect, you know right. what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So what do you like most about working with Ray? Man, he's hard, bro. And he's a real one too, bro. Uh, when I first shot him a beat, I just said, bro, he, he responded to me. Off the rip, I'm like, okay, yeah. it's yours, bro. Don't even trip. Like, right. I'm juiced at the fact that you even listened to it. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and he hit me up and he said, bro, here's my number. Call me. I'm like, what? Okay, for sure. Let me, so I hit him up. I'm like, what's good? He's, bro, he sounded exactly like he sounded in the, in the, in the song. He's like, nasty. I'm like, ugh, he's dope. So I'm like... Like, but he told me straight up on some real shit. He said, hey, I know you gave me the beat and all that, but I want you to sign up and get an artist number through BMI, register, and I want to put that register number when we release a song. I want to put it in the credits because I know you gave me the beat, but I want you to get your piece of the pie. I want everyone I'm working with, I want all of us to eat. You feel me? We all going to eat and we all going to start. Regardless, we all in it together. I, that was the realest shit ever, bro. Right. No other artist I don't think has ever done like has done that. Right. Gave me the number personally and right. hit me up like, look, I want us to win. Right. So big us to Lil Raider, bro. That's the homie. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope, bro. Are, are there any artists that you would like to work with right now that are, you think that's, that that would be dope with that you would have dope chemistry with? Y'all make a, a slap. And it, it could be anybody. It could be mainstream or just even in the bay. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, facts. Uh. Man, I really want to work with Hustler, bro. Okay. And he just hit me with the follow too, but I don't know how to act. Right. <laughs> I'm like, man, I, I'm going to just let it, you feel me, right. marinate. But right. I want to work with Hustler, bro. Right. I feel like right now, he, he and what he's been on is super in, uh, unique. Right, right, right. Unique and, and, and definitely uh, his sound is very organic. Right. You can tell he plants the seeds and lets that shit grow. Right. Uh, who else? Man, mainstream shit. The baby. The baby. That probably never happened, but shit. That he and did. you never know. It's fire, Anything's bro. possible. Nothing's the show. But I don't even know. really listen to mainstream. I do. I can't cap. I do. Right. right. But not as much. Not as much. Right. But the baby right. popped up on my playlist, and I'm like, okay. He's hard, bro. He bringing back like real rap. Right. He's dope. Yeah. Uh, He's organic for sure. Yeah. yeah. He's sick. Um, but yeah, bro, if I can work with anyone, bro, it's going to be a lot of cats out of the bay. A lot of legends. Everyone you saw like on Trill TV, right. I'll work with all them, right. bro. Everybody. And I know we could be in the... Name a couple, bro. Keep man, coming. Mr. Fab. Okay. Bro, Keep the Sneak. Right. Bro, uh, Yuck Mouth. Right. Bro, the list goes on, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um... I fuck with Lil Yee. He's a, a more newer artist coming yeah. out. Uh, he's dope. Uh, man, it's just it's a lot of dope rappers out there that you know what I'm saying. Maybe one day we we'll get it popping. Right. And how, how can people find you? What's your social media? Uh, so you can find me on Instagram. I'm mostly more active on there. Mm -hmm. uh, XAV on the beat, just like that. Uh, YouTube, XAV Productions. Uh, so the X hyphen A hyphen B productions. Uh, I don't really be on Twitter like that, but XAB Beats, <laughs> follow right. me on Twitter. Right, right. Uh, but yeah, mostly Instagram, bro. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I, I like, I, I definitely uh, like to interact with those who show support. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? Good, good. Mm -hmm. um, is there, do you have any crazy stories about being in the studio and you producing or making a beat with certain artists? Is anything wild has happened in the studio or anything just out of the box? You get it beat from people passing out or them being on or saying some crazy stuff or, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, man, most of the times when people passing out, that was me. <laughs> that was me, bro. Um, Would you be too tired or you too lit? lit too oh, lit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too lit. I act like, yup, it's good. And then, then you know, People be smoking me out and shit. And I'm like, oh, it's good, it's good. Are you sure, bro? That's that purple, purple. Oh, it's good, bro. It's, it's gorilla blue. It's good, bro. Whatever. Bro, I'll be 20 minutes later. Man. They like this, ready to record. Look back and I'm like, yeah, huh? Oh, yeah. I'm like, bro. That's crazy. But uh, nothing too crazy. Everyone be on in the studio. Everyone be geeked. You feel right. me? Everyone has their own little 
their own little thing, their yeah. niche, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, yeah. I really don't mind that mm-hmm. uh, as long as you, we, we can be productive, right. you know? Yeah, make it happen. Make it happen, Captain. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I think a funny story, bro, is uh, the first time I, I decided that I wanted to start trapping, it wasn't in mainly like that, it was just tree. Right. But it was the first time I had a, a big amount of marijuana, you feel right, me? Right, right. It wasn't that big, bro. It was a QP. Okay. At the time, I didn't even know the difference. I thought it was a pound. I was calling it a pound for a minute. Right, right. Till someone was like, that's a QP, bro. So I brought the QP. I had a homie who came over. And I'm like, bro, open it up, fresh out the seal bag. Smell it. Smelling it. Ooh, yo, there's some cookie. Because everyone says it's cookie. When they don't know, everyone right, says it's cookie. And it's damn, there's some cookie, bro. <laughs> so he like. <laughs> I'm like, my other homie knocks on the door. I leave him with the with the bag. Hey, I'm gonna go get the, I'm gonna get my homie. And when I come back, I see my homie had the bag down, but he's zipping up his sweater. Mm. And it wasn't cold in there, bro. Right. And that was the first time that like my sixth cent, sixth sense came in, like, you feel me? Cause I ain't never sold like that or trapped or flipped like that. Right, right. So that was the first time he hit me like, I think the homie just licked me. Yeah, he's trying to get over on I think he just stuffed his sweater with... Bro, everything else was irrelevant to me. I was just like... You know? I was like, hold on real quick. I got the bag. I closed it. It closed a little more t- a little more looser. So right. I'm like, oh, there's something missing. Right. I don't know if he did. That's still the homie. I don't know if he did. If he did, I hope he got lit, bro. I hope it was some cookie, bro. Right. But uh, he... I go to my girl's room. She, she bought it with me and shit. And... I was the door, I'm like, babe, I think, I think the homie just licked me. Mind you, she don't know slang like that, so she's like, ugh, he licked you? I'm like, nah, I'm like, nah, I think he stole from me, I think he stole some tree. And she's like, you idiot, you don't leave, don't leave hella shit, merchandise like that with people. That was the first time I was like, man, like, paranoid. But that happened during the studio session, so best believe the rest of the session was fucked. I, was, I couldn't even focus, I was like, Man, I feel like you licked me, bro. Like, you didn't check him or nothing? I didn't, and I hit up Cuddy's the next day. He's like, bro, you should have checked them. You should have pressed them. You should have been like, nah. I just show you not to trust people no more. You feel exactly. me? The longest. You don't know. You, you don't know what people are capable of and what they do. You know what that's going on in their mind. You see how they be, but you don't know how they think. You yeah. know what I mean? So that just little, sound like a life lesson. So yeah, like, just be careful, that. bro. Um, so I was gonna say. Besides that, who, who who are your favorite artists of all time? Of all time, Mac Dre, uh, the Jacka. Them top two for sure. Uh, you can leave it like that if you want to. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, might, I don't to, see why not. I might so, have to. Them they're the goats, bro. Right. And, and you know what I'm saying? Uh, Mac Dre and the Jacka. Right, right, I'm gonna right. leave it like that. Okay. They're fire. For sure. Um, hey, what do you see taking this within the next five to 10 years? Where do you see this going for you? Uh, you know what? I, I, I pray that it, it comes out successful, right. but I, and I'm not gonna stop. Right. This music stuff is always in me, this creating stuff, visuals, photos, graphic design, right. everything that has to do with creativity, right. Right. it's not gonna stop. Right. It's only gonna grow. Period. Uh, and I'm kinda, I kinda just letting, letting, letting life take the wheel with it. Right. Letting it flow. But I'm putting it on that Tesla autopilot too. You know, like, I, I, I'm keeping the eye out too, like, because I want it to be something. Right, right. I want it to grow into something. Right, right. Um, but, uh, but I'm definitely, uh, definitely not in a hurry. Right. You know, I've been doing this since 13. I'm 26 now, but I'm 27. Right, right. Um, and I'm super happy where I'm at. Right. I'm happy with the, with, with, with the, reaction that my music gives people. Right. I believe a lot in music therapy. I believe it can make you feel better, right. heal you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so 
as long as I keep creating, bro, mm -hmm. I'm content. Because right. it's, it's not going to stop. Right, right. And whatever it comes with, whatever, you feel me, good stuff it comes with, going, right. going up, blowing up, getting popping, whatever, that's cool. Right. Even fame, fuck the fame. I just want to be right. famous. I just right. want to be known out here. You right. feel me? That's all that matters to me. Right, right, right. Um, but if that comes with it, cool. But I'll never let none of that change me. Right, right, period. Uh, you feel me? I'm, I'm, I'm definitely a... That's my... Next five to ten year goal is to just keep doing what I'm doing now. Right. Do you, you feel, feel like you got a buzz now? Uh, I think uh, I think the support is huge. Right, right, right. Uh, because it starts all in house, family, right, right, family right. friends. Right. You feel me? The cutties, the cutties, cutties. Right. You feel me? And we're all connected. Right. So so. I move. In a big magnitude, you feel me? Like, in the, and and I guess it, it, it gets people's attention, right. you know. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say I have a big buzz, right. but but I, I got a lot to offer. Right. A right. lot to offer, bro. And and that's how you came up with famous, or how you kind of explain it, like you know, being famous in the Bay or just doing your thing. Exactly, bro. Uh, me and my cutie Ainge, we 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 came up with this together. He's, we're like, man, fuck the fame. You just want to be famous. You right. just want to be well known, Bay grown. We're Bay grown. We just want to be well known, right, right. And, and and not because we want to be famous or we right. want. You know what I'm saying? We just want to be. We just want to spread creativity and positivity right. in our soil. Hello. Yeah. You know, it's our own backyard. Period. You feel me? This is where we're from. From our neighborhood to your neighborhood. Period. You feel me? Period. At the end of the day, we're all together and connected. Right. You know what I'm saying? And. Uh, yeah, man. I really wish. I really wish Bay Area artists. How do I say this? Got along more, cause right. I see, cause, cause there's so much talent out here, bro. Right. But I seen a, I seen a tweet from Mr. Fab recently, and he said, "I was just watching Trill TV, and man, we, we had something going, right. but niggas just let their egos get to them." Right. And I feel like that couldn't explain the baby right. more perfect, you know? Like, it sucks that that's really how we are, you know? Like, you see Atlanta, Atlanta, everyone, bro, moves together, bro. Yeah. If we could do that, we could take over the world, bro. Right, right, right. It's, it, it's, I'm not saying that, that, that there's not, no one like that out here. Right. It's just rare. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's rare to find another ends with a lens. It's rare to find another bro Jackson, you know? Right. It's, it's rare. We're out here, right. but that shit's rare, bro. Rare so like Mr. Clean with hair? You feel me? <laughs> Yeah, but you, you do got a point, bro, and that's something we need to bring to light. And then, you know, there's power and unity. You yes, know what sir. I mean? And I get what you're saying. Um, that's that's pretty dope, bro. And that's 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 unique the way you think, bro. So, man, we need more of that, man. So, is there is there is there a message you would like to give upcoming producers and artists? That, what would you like to share with them that you, learning which from what you know from when you started till now from the process? What can you tell? What can you tell somebody that's starting out right now? What would be some advice, some words of wisdom? It's never too late. If you think it or you dream it, run with it. Make it happen. Because especially like these young cats out here, like they be feeling like they're running out of time. Right. Bro, they got nothing but time. You feel me? Yeah. They got nothing but time. And it, and it doesn't matter how old or whatever. You feel me? Like, even older cats, you feel me? They, they starting now and they're getting popping now. You feel right. just, just if you think it, right. my message to the youth, if you think it and you feel like you can do it and you have a passion for it and a drive, do it. Right. Because you're only going to create something and it's going to get feedback. Right. That feedback can benefit you. Right. And then you, you feel me? Right. I hope I said that correctly, but I hope it makes sense. It makes perfect sense because a man is who he thinks he is, you know what I mean? So, as a manifestation, um, so before we get out of here, what would, what, would, what would you relate your style of, your the way your, your beat sounds? What would you relate that to? What feel does it give out? Timeless. It's timeless. Right. Forever. Yeah. Uh, something I make now is, will still... If I make it now and don't release it till 2025, it's gonna sound like I made it in 2025, you know? Yeah. Uh, it, timeless. Yeah. 
the music's timeless. That's what my goal is to make something that that will leave a mark right. forever. Right. You know. Um, I think I remember you uh, had made a, a, a little premiere video for for the Uwe Nation Bowl, and you used the beat. You made that beat, right? I made that beat. How'd you come up with it? Man, I think I was in a <clears throat> TJ Maxx or something, and they had that song playing there. I'm like, that's that old school. Right. right. Uh, Big fan of old school music, big fan of the 80s, right. uh, 90s and shit. Uh, I heard it, Shazam, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Threw up the phone, what's up, what's up, you know? Uh, found it, I forgot what it's called, bro. Uh, but found it, got the first 10 seconds of it, looped it, had a slap to it. Come on. Uh, uh, just, you feel me? Just yeah. in that little Instagram clip, got you gigging. Come on, you feel me? Music, music, and music and visuals. Peanut butter and jelly, bro. Come on, say that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, period. Yep. Yes, sir. That's, yeah. that's a slap. Man, that's dope, bro. Um, before we get out of here, Niners yeah. or Raiders? Raiders. Horrible. That Vegas Real. move is many. That Vegas move is many. I don't even know how to act. How do you feel about that? I'm going to have to be a Rams fan. <laughs> Yikes. Nah, I don't you know. Might as well just not be a fan at all. Yeah, dude. facts, bro. Nah, but man. <laughs> hey, bro, X, we appreciate you, bro, spending some time and chopping up some game with us, man. And you know what I mean? Your journey and what you got going on. And you know, uh, man, we most definitely going to look out for more of your work. You know what I mean? We're going to stay in tune. Man. So, Angela Lynn, clocking out. What's Gun Entertainment? Yeah. Yeah. You feel me?